Uh, yeah, good morning, my distinguished uh, gentlemen and ladies in the grand community, which I will also believe now it is an ecosystem where everything is echoing because truth is bitter and nobody wants to know the truth. We only believe, give us money, give us money. Even if you are giving the money and you die, you don't even care. That is the type of situation we have found ourselves you see if not that god knows everything i regret coming into this community but i cannot regret because anything that happens god knows about it one thing i would like everybody or believers to know is that sometimes god pushes you to go where you don't even know you will go if God tells you about that place, you will refuse, you will not go. So God will not even tell you. And he will push you. Later, he will let you know why you are in that condition. I am coming today, the second day of July 2024, to respond to the voice note of Reverend Agbosheno. I have vowed within me that I won't respond to anybody unless any member executive member of our grand project group even if they say they are branch of this branch of that i won't even respond but if it is our grand project group i might respond that was why i respond to uh, comrade all well again i have said i won't even be calling names because people are telling me remove my name in your mouth but Anybody that calls my name, I will call his name. If I wish to respond. Responding to Reverend Agbocheno is because he has told me once, twice, that he is with me, that I am now his friend. Because of the case of the case I have against AKN. On this note, I thought it be, he would have deemed it very important of coming to me first to find out from me. Although I know I, I can't speak like him, everybody are not equal. If I, I, I speak, I believe I speak in the way you people will understand. So which means I'm correct since I can interact to your understanding even if i am getting it right or wrong so i'm openly responding to him before i proceed i just want to ask this grand community that is occurring like this do you think it is very very easy or possible just all that easy for someone to say god said if it is easy come and begin to say your own that god said but bet me and mark it remember it that woe unto him that say god said and god did not say remember that remember that that woe unto him that say god said and god did not say that alone would have given everybody the impression to know that everything anyone that say god said should be left on with god alone in this community now i can see people coming up to fight for god saying it was not god that told him and they did not say god told me that he's not the one that they are only saying it's not god that told him fighting for god is a pity other woman i, I might not be responding because i listen to it i don't normally know how to write out things i will just say something how i am led to say it but i am able to just I will try to see if I can recollect all that he said. That is what I want to do. From his statement, I now find out he said that I should understand that everybody is not a church, my church member, or is not a church goer, or is not a Christian. Anyhow, I put it, let him just understand that he said such thing. Please, number one. Reverend Agoshin, I want you to know that I am not talking to everybody. I am not talking to everybody. 
I am talking to whom it may concern. So if you say it concerns you, that you are the person that is uh, doing the thing, well, that is you. That is you. One thing is important is, I know the message I pass. For your information, I don't dream. I don't talk about dream. If I dream, it's only on my own whenever I dream. But whenever I had a revelation, that one is quite different. Now, let me tell you, and also the people that wish to listen, that this revelation was not given to me in the month of July that I released it. It was given to me since beginning of June. Since beginning of June, not July that I released it. But because of the fear that it will cost, maybe it may cost for me the way I see it, that people will come and say that now I want to stop disbursement in that June, that disbursement was happening in that June. I battled seriously in that revelation that I will not say it. I was now pleading that if truly this revelation is correct and from you, Lord, let this June end without disbursement so I will deliver it. I believe that nobody will say I'm the one that stopped disbursement in June. Thank God about that. See, they might also come up now to say I'm the one stopping disbursement in this July. How? I don't understand. So, everybody is not a church goer. And I'm not talking to church. I'm not talking to Christian. I'm talking to whom it may concern. Anybody that is involved in what I said. I saw a revelation and I gave an advice. Which advice is not by force. You are free to take it or not. He also said that many people are calling me mad person. I don't even care. I don't even know what people call me. Let that person that will call me a mad person come up openly and say, I am a mad person. So I can and tell me his number, his identity, so I can make sure he will prove to me how I am mad. Unless he will tell me that I am mad in the spirit. I will accept because Apostle Paul was also accused the same way. That is it. And uh, he said, even if God said, if that if at all god said meaning that if god said i should now modify it now let me just tell you when god told me this thing the most that month of june i told him i won't until if he's the one speaking to me and he wants me to deliver it why Everybody should understand that God does not want anyone to perish. That is why he gives a warning. And in that warning, it's not a must that you will take it. It's not a must that you must take it. If you wish, take it. If you don't like, leave it. And do what you want to do. Then if God now decides to give you the punishment, that is your own. But the major thing is, you had it. You will not say you didn't hear it. You will never, never say, you didn't hear it. Now, when I got this revelation, I've been calling somebody among the all Grand Prayer group that I involved, but he can never pick my call. The message I sent to him, he stopped responding. Because I wanted to review this thing so that we know what to do. Look at what I was told. And what I was asked to say. Because uh, Reverend Agoshino was saying, he said, he's calling me in Guagachuku. Saying that uh, even if God told me that, that I shouldn't say it. Meaning what? Meaning I should. Did he know how God speaks to me? So if God told you something and asked you to say, you will not say. That is the problem many people have. All the people he's saying that God is speaking to. Did God speak to them to say it out? And do you know the consequences of if God tells you something and asks you to say it and you don't say it? Do you know the consequences? The thing is, is it God that is speaking to them? That is just the simple truth. But I called another person and I told him, 
Remember, what is the bone of contention here? The bone of contention is not a disbursement, or you disburse, or you disburse your money or not. The bone of contention is, based on my revelation, that if this money is UAS money, UAS money that belongs to Professor Briney, please, the right thing should be done. He said, go through the wife. That is only the message there. And if it is not the one of uh, UAS, Professor Brimey, you people should go ahead and I don't know why people are worried. And even all this worry is making me to understand that what I, what I saw was correct. Because I don't know why people should be worried. If something did not concern you and you are putting money, please, you are worried. Which means it might be that some other thing is touching you. So I called somebody among them and asked him, please. Is this money, UAS money? He said he has not seen the document. Nobody I can call if not that two people that I supposed to, that I know. I don't have to call any other person. And why calling them is to tell them, look at what I saw. What are we going to do on this? Because I was asked to say it. But none give me a listening ear. And I told God, if no, if, if June ends, I will now say it. I pleaded with him. That was why I said it. Go and listen the time I delivered that message. That message, he said, write it down. So I kept it since that time. Because I also need money. I also need money. Seriously, I need money. And I don't want anything that will truncate it. That was why I was afraid. But I must do what God said I should do. So, by the grace of God, he said, if God has even spoken, I should have kept it to myself. How? Well, Reverend Abushan, I don't know what you meant by that. I should keep it to myself. I don't know what you meant by that. Yes, yeah, sorry. So he said, God had been speaking to me. Is that Maybe that is not God that is speaking to me, but it's something that had been going into my heart. And people are worried about something that is going into my heart. I'm just surprised. If you have concluded that, it's just, that God did not speak to me, that is something that has been going into my heart. Why then are you worried? I have my right to have something in my heart. And you have your right to have something in your heart. I have my right to come and say what I have in my heart. Nobody will put me in jail. Nobody will trouble me. That is my heart. If it is my heart, why are you troubled? Why are you troubled? Please, I want to know. Again, he said, I am trying to force my, my revelation. Although he called it dream, I don't dream. To other people. How? So all you have been saying, if you come and say it, you are forcing people to believe it. Is it with God? Is it with God? Or with a court that has the right to force somebody to do something? All these things is proving to me the ignorance of many people that claims they know. Although, God is even using just little things to confuse those that say they know everything. That is what I know. And he said, I am trying to throw people into confusion. The same question is, how am I throwing people into confusion? Which means there are, there are truths. A form of truth in what I said. That is why people are in com confused. Because if something is not, is not true and it doesn't concern you, I don't know how you should be confused. I don't know how you should be confused. I'm so truly surprised about all these things. And he said, I brought insult to myself. Insult of human being or insult of God. Is it today that people have been insulting me? People from um, the other camp, I, I mean, um, what am I? Is it today that you people now saw Joyce and Lovely insulting me? Even if this group now also decide to start insulting, does that have anything to do with me? The question is, who wins at the last? Who wins? That's just a simple question. Even if you like, if you don't want to release yourself from the mess you keep yourself, you know where it will lead you to. That is your own. It doesn't even concern me. So whether you insult me or not, I don't care. But remember I said, I saw this. It was a revelation. So anyone that insults me, insult he that gives me the revelation, not me. So why must I bother? I don't care. I don't care. 
again one place that touches me so much as a servant of god like him Kai. oh this place touched me so much he said that i should remember that people in all those camps are having their own dreams are having their own dreams and this person has as he called name those people he called name they have their man, man of god having dreams what if if all of them come and say which one are we going to take a man of god like you reverend albuchino is asking this type of thing it means you are only talking about human interests you are not even talking about what god said you should understand yes yeah, sorry i was highly interrupted by some calls from some people so he was now asking which one do we take it's a pity that the minister is asking this type of thing instead of verifying if five people is contesting for something although i don't know i don't know the people that are contesting for anything i don't know i've just delivered a message and if five people are contesting for something he is asking which one a minister is asking which one are we going to take and he don't even know the one we are going to take just because everybody need money they don't even need the truth nobody now wants the truth what they need now is money no matter where it comes from so if mr a has money even if he come from if if he, uh, mr b c or d hijacked it and it come from then you are happy and you did not consider the life of those people that knows the right thing but they didn't do it you didn't consider their life let me put it to you you that knows the truth and you fail to give your advice on the truth you are an offender I want you to understand that you are an offender that is it yes again in his statement i can only understand that he has accepted that what i said might be true me i would say it's true based on what he said he said that all these people are now saying the same thing if they are saying the same thing and you cannot reason within your mind that we need to follow the truth we need to follow the truth and you want somebody to oh god oh is a pity i don't know how to respond to you sir on this your statement is a pity i'm telling you i'm telling you kai is a pity Hush. again sir you made a statement that there are decl declarations that I made that have not come to pass. It's a pity. Somebody made this same voice note. And I do not want to respond to that person openly. Just because of your... your uh, 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 in, just to give you respect. But because you have said it on your own, let me just say, say it. So I want you to go back and bring that voice note you said I give, that I say you will die in 14 days. Bring it out and play it in a social media so that I can be shamed. So I look at what a minister like you is doing to yourself. For your information, I know where I was, I'm coming from. I know the battle I passed through those that knows me know. I never desire that anybody would die in life. And that is even part of the reason I am giving any giving message any message that i've been given now that is the reason why i passed it to sound as a warning in case if you want to make a mistake you readdress yourself to avoid the calamity that will fall upon the offenders of god's mind sir i have never for one day say somebody will die and if you did not bring that message and play i will say it will be a shame to you bring it out let me hear where i say you will die in 14 days sir for your information i only pass a judgment i say judgment have been established it is now left in god's hand to know the type of judgment that god will make it on that person that is what i do i pass judgment i don't cause people to die i don't cause people i say that their judgment is established their cause judgment their cause is established cause from who from god not from me and if i say it i don't even care i don't pray about it 
I don't care. It's in the hand of God to know the type of uh, judgment you want to pass on that person. Sir, so for your information, that's why you passed in that, that horrible situation. And you were disgraced. If you don't understand, and if, it, if you say it's, it's not, I don't care. But it's a happen. And you still came to apologize to me. You came to apologize to me that you have wronged me. You are the one that is laying curse upon people. I don't lay curse. And because of the causes you have laid upon people that did not come, let me say my own, that did not come to pass, that was why you apologized to me. If I have laid a cause against you, I would apologize to you. I did it to some people you know. And in the 1st of June, I also came out and also did it and said that the, in eight, in seven days, if they don't repent, the judgment will be established. Can you kindly draw your mind back about that and now see since that time after eight days what is happening? It is not by my power. I don't even care who, do, who God used to do it. My duty is just to speak. I'll go my way. It is the duty of God to do what? To perfect it. Like this one. I have spoken what I saw. It is God's time he, on him to do it. If anybody knows it is not God, go ahead and do what you want to do. God, if if it's, well, it's not God, God will go his way. But if it is God, I am telling you, he will bring himself to fulfillment. He will bring his word to fulfillment. So, Reverend Agochino, it's a pity you are saying all these things. After apologizing to me, did you not wrong me before you apologized to me? Have I apologized to you? Did I wrong you? Just that you, some ministers like you, don't want to understand exactly the way God moves. In any of my uh, judgment that I passed, that I said that God, the judgment has been established, I don't say this is what will happen or this is what will happen. I don't say such. In my life, I can never wish anybody to die. And that is why I must give the warning to whom it may concern. And I know that it does not concern me. It's a shame that you can even come out to even say something. Knowing fully well that I called God on it. Knowing fully well that I called God on it. And you are coming out to say something. Instead of you to say, if it is God, let God fight for himself. If it is not God, let God just prove me wrong. And you are saying all these things. Saying that I have I have a lot I have said that did not come to pass. Please go and cross check. All of them has come to pass. All of them. Whether anybody likes it or not. Go and check. You think sleeping in EFCC is not a punishment. Is it what you want to say? And you are still making this. You want to start making this type of mistake again. So let me tell you. If you respond to me, I might not talk to you again. I will respond. I will respond. It is in the hand of God. To re because remember, I never called your name. You are the one that also call, come out now to call my name. Just watch out the insult. You are insulting me, dear. You might say, what insult? Telling me that I am just dreaming out of my mind. Telling me that it was not God. But I don't care. Because of that, I'm just responding to you. If not, I won't. Yeah. Again, you said, how can people take me serious? For your information, sir, I have not even said anything on my own. And I have never asked people, please take me serious. So, so anyone that takes me serious, I don't care. Anyone that does not take me serious, I don't care. After all, I have never seen in grand, in grand community the same blood with me, my kinsmen, that will meet at the same place in my, in my house or my own brothers or sisters. So I am not telling anybody to, to take me serious. Why are you taking me serious? Don't take me serious, my dear. Go ahead and do whatever you like. I don't care about it. You see? That I'm a true man of God or not. Does it have anything to do with anybody? If I come now, I will be telling somebody, this person is not a true man of God. On what aspect? Who, am I God that called people that knows those that are his true men of God? I am not. I have told people, anybody that asks me to call him prophet, apostle this, I will call you what you said I should call you. That is me. It doesn't consign me. God that called you will either disgrace you or uplift you. 
It's not my own. It's not in my power to decide that. It's not in my power. So, Reverend Agochino, it's a pity that you are responding to me while I have not responded to or called your name. Well, you did well. You can say whatsoever you like. But mind you, I said God made me to know it. And anybody that is fighting me, I strongly believe that it's because of the message I passed. I put it to you that you are fighting the person that gave me that message. If you say it is the devil, you are fighting the devil. If you say it is God, you are fighting God. Please leave me alone and go and tackle the message or the person that owns or that told me about that message. If it is devil, go and iron it out with devil. If it is God, go and iron it out with God. Finally, before I continue, I must still retreat it again. What is the bone of contention? The bone of contention is not about the grant. Who disposes or that? My message said, if that grant is UAS of Professor Brian Me, the message is go through the man, through the wife. That is the right thing to be done. What are we even saying? It has, which means, if I, if I may ask, is it truly that that thing is uh, uh, U.S. money? And if it is U.S. money and you are happy that another person wants to disburse another person's uh, uh, money or labor because he's dead, and you people don't know the implication if you don't do the right thing, eh? Is a pity or is a pity? I say it again. For the sake of those that are consigned, if you are consigned, please check your mind. If that money belongs to UAS of Professor Brimey or has anything to connect with St. Rita, I plead with you for the sake of the thing I saw in that revelation that will happen. Go to the right source. Go to that woman, Professor Brimey's wife simple the one i saw in that thing that was crying holding her husband was boss a day was boss a day yes so you people should go to her and tell her look at look at look at so that people will not be suffering again we are now accusing people hey, people are scamming us collecting money but you people may give, give room to all these things when i collected money i never collected money because of the grant i collected money because of the documents that apostle ken came to my hotel room and had the meeting and they said i don't even know why let me not go to that area you see and had the meeting and now ask me what are we going to do i tried all i could somebody is aware of the person i called I don't want to make call names so that they will not come start insulting me. Why do I call their name? He's aware of the person I approached to, to plead to borrow us that money. When that man refused, I have no option. Because I was eager to make sure that this document comes out. So that we will now see the documents, know exactly what is happening there. And the process will begin. I never supported the process, this process of UAAG matter to begin. And that time, there is nothing like UAS. I don't know anything about UAS. I didn't do anything because of UAS. I did everything I did because of UAAG. And I frowned at him when he made himself a, came out and speak as a country director. I told him you would have waited until you get this document. God knows I am saying the truth. He that lies face the punishment. You need to have these documents before you can now come out to speak. He said they said he should speak because a lot of people are now starting people so that they will go through the right channel. I say congratulations. When he want to do that of app, I also told him, leave this thing, get these documents first. He said no. They told him to continue preparation. I say, sir, if you get these documents and you now come out and tell people, please, I am now in possession of the document they said my name is, and my name is there, that give me six months to prepare and this, but people will listen to you. He refused, and I went my way. People that know me, that are closer to me, will know I told them not to pay that thing, that app is useless.
that nothing like that i was saying out of what i saw within me today where is it i don't know i don't know so what i'm saying is please if this money belongs to uas professor brimey you all in that community should of once say the truth to yourself let them go to the right source for that might be the reason this thing has been delaying people collecting money collecting money collecting money i never collected money i never wish to collect money from anybody if not of this same this same document which is not only a lot of people had approached me for the same documents we are portraying for documents we are portraying for the documents and later document is being seen and profiling is going on and people ca came out to say that a document of a grant has no name nobody brought it he said can't you people ask yourself a question how can a grant came come into this country without having somebody that brought it or without having somebody it come it came to his through his name how can't we ask ourselves question eh? is it that we are truly gullible as they are calling us that we can't ask questions eh? have i myself have not been asking this question you see but i've been asking it within me but i'm not asking it outside that was why i was portraying about the documents when i saw that these things are not adding up i withdrew myself when i withdrew, i don't want to talk anything because i was committed i don't want to say anything but when the lie continues a lot of extortions i was aggrieved and i said no i can't continue like this i started speaking out because of the lies i saw you see so please my distinguished people in this grand community can we just reason by ourselves if this money is not uas money professor brimey's money please you push go ahead and disburse your money but i want to appeal to you for the sake of what i saw for the sake of the calamity i saw i have from that man in that my revelation i plead with you go and do the right thing follow the right source so that people will stop suffering people will stop suffering for what shall he permit a man if you will gain the whole world and lose your soul this morning are you sure if you get this money that you will eat it who knows anybody can die at any time it's not a day that you plan to come and kill somebody that is not what i'm saying but listen anybody that plan to kill somebody let me tell you if you plan to kill somebody you only escorted that person your own is also coming that's just the simple truth because any see the man so he will reap so please my dear this is my advice it's an advice if you like you take it if you don't like you leave it that is just the simple truth for a very you know i plead with you stay on your own i did not call you you have started again you have started again had it been you are saying this thing, you did not call my name i won't even respond it seems you stay on your own let us just conclude this thing like this if it is not god and i say god said let god punish me and if it is god and i say god said let god punish those that say it's not god that is just a simple truth my my just major major concern is that those people that are not even that need only money they don't even consider the life of the people that are doing this that knows the truth but they don't want to do the truth they don't even consider their life and this wickedness i thought you would have done to say if this thing is true you push you do the right thing follow the right uh, uh, way so that things will be well in this country i bless god for all things and i pray that god will help us in this country that we will succeed in truth so that we'll come out in this mess we have seen ourselves thank you and god bless you i remain yours reverend